Yeah, man. Um, the turnover today was the issue for you guys. What, uh, you know, what, what y'all? I know you. What was the issue there with the turnover? Yeah, I mean, we knew coming into it, um, you know, we had to be efficient and, and take care of the ball, try to push one down the field to Russ, and, uh, you know, probably shouldn't have, have made that decision. Um, you know, that that's a tough one, and then a pair of fumbles. Uh, but those two before the half really hurt and, um, you know, breathed some life into them and, and, and gave them an opportunity to score some points before the half, which is always tough to overcome. So. Uh, is disappointing, you know, for sure. Um, and, and we've got to do better than that as we move uh, into next season. We've got to, you know, be really efficient and take, uh, take really good care of the football. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, moving forward, what will be some of the things you all can take from this season? Coach said, you know, being 7-2 and two in uh, close games is a good foundation. I do think that, you know, there are, are positives to take from that. In, in close, you know, one-score games, we were very uh, efficient. We need to put ourselves in more of those, um, you know, than, than we did this year. And I, I think that's the next step. And I also think, you know, learning how to close some of those games out earlier uh, and figuring out ways to win, you know, where it doesn't have to be one possession. You know, I think those are, are places we can, you know, make growth. But I'm optimistic. You know, I think we've got – uh, a lot of good young players, guys that, you know, gained a lot of experience this year, guys that fought, you know, the, the entire way. And uh, I think that's going to serve us well, you know, as, as we continue to grow and build. So where are you at with your future? You uh, two years left. Do you want to stay here? Uh, and, you know, there's been a lot of talk about your future and contract and so forth. Where, what's your position on, on the last two years with uh, the contract and continuing on with the Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I want to be here. And, uh, you know, I believe in, in this team and uh, the coaching staff, I think, did a great job. You know, I've, I really feel fortunate to have been here for as long as I have. And, um, you know, but I'm optimistic. I really am. And I, I want to be here and uh, feel good about, you know, this group of guys, coaching staff, uh, everybody, you know, the direction it's going. And I really think we're going to, you know, make, make improvements this offseason and, and continue to grow as a team, be better than we were this year. No, I mean, I, I've just, we haven't talked about it. We're, we're playing the season and, and doing those kind of things and, you know, going through a game plan week to week. So uh, I also know that every year's, you know, different. Everybody's, you know, that's that's the nature of this league. But you know, I feel good about it. I really do. I feel like uh, I'm in a good space and uh, our, our team's in a good space and, and we can improve and be better as we move forward. How much to say do you have or, or do you want to have in maybe some of the offseason moves that they might make? Because, I mean, Arthur's even said that they're going to have a lot of turnovers and pieces of one year contract. Would you like a little bit of say to say, hey, listen, this is what I feel I need to be successful? And have you had that in the past? I understand my role, you know, what, what that is. And, um, you know, certainly throughout my entire career, have give, given honest feedback. Um, but, you know, I also understand that they have a job to do, and uh, it's their responsibility to, to find players, to, you know, decide who stays, who goes, figure out contracts, figure out the cap, all those kind of things. And um, I don't claim to be an expert, you know, in, in that area. What do you feel like, if you say you give them all the feedback, well, I don't expect you to tell me exactly what you tell them. What, what would you tell them about what you've seen this year and what you feel like maybe you need or this team? Yeah, I think. Number one, those conversations are, are better had in our facility, you know, and, and behind closed doors. But uh, I'm optimistic. I, I really am. I, I think, you know, Arthur talked a lot about wanting to create a culture. I think he's done a very good job of that. Uh, creating a tough, you know, physical football team. We're making strides toward that. I thought the fight, the toughness from the guys, the resiliency all year was really good. And um, there, there's – there's a lot of growth that can come from that with young players, you know, being in those situations and maturity and, and toughness, um, mental toughness, those kind of things. I think, you know, a season like this can provide. And so uh, I'm optimistic. I really am. You talk about building that culture, and it's something that Arthur has talked about a lot is building that foundation. And going back to what you're saying about, I guess, the toughness, uh, is that essentially kind of how you would describe the foundation of which Arthur Smith is trying to lay? Well, I, I mean, he'd be better to, to answer that question of, of, of that. But, you know, from my perspective, that's, you know, that's what he's asking for us as players, tough, smart, physical players. And, um, 
you know, I think guys have tried to do that. You know, guys have, have really worked towards that, the way we practice, the way we train, all those things. Uh, you know, I think trend in that direction. And so, you know, I think being in year two in, in a system, uh, not just myself, but, you know, the guys that are back, uh, I think there are great strides that can be made there. Does the 4,000-yard streak ending bug you at all, or did you just even register? Not really. You know, I, I think I'm at the point in my career, don't get me wrong, I'm proud of, of how long it lasted, uh, for sure. Um, but, you know, the objective is, is to be playing, you know, now and, and to have the opportunity. And so from that standpoint, you know, the statistical stuff is very nice and I'm proud of it. Um, but at the same time, I really care about winning and, um, you know, want to be playing in the playoffs and uh, making a push to win a championship. And that, to me, uh, is the more important, you know, goals as we move forward. How far, how far away do you feel like this team is? I mean, you, you say you're optimistic, but how far away do you feel like this team is for really being able to really make that playoff push, to make that push towards the championship? I think we were about two, two or three games away, you know, and uh, there were some games that, you know, if you just look at it objectively, that's probably what we needed to do, win nine or ten games and uh, give you the opportunity to get in. And so every season's different. You know, there's no crystal ball for us, you know, moving forward, but we're not far off, uh, really, you know, and um, finding ways to win a few games early in the year, too, you know, where we had chances. Uh, I think that's going to be important and getting off to a good start. All those things are, are important. They all count one, you know, and, and sometimes they sting a little bit more at the end of the year uh, when the picture's kind of unraveled itself to you. Uh, but I've learned – you know, the, those ones in the beginning of the year are just as important. And so, um, you know, we're not far off. I know you said, you know, you, have, you have your role, but your receiver room, most of them are free agents other than Calvin and Jarvis at this point. Do you express what type of receiver you want? Or, or is, there, is there a type of receiver you prefer to play with? Play with all kinds of different guys throughout my career. And so, um, you know, I, I trust our – personnel guys, coaching staff to, to, you know, find the guys that they feel like fit what we want to do. Um, but, but, you know, I, I'm, I feel like I'm at a point where I can work with different guys for sure and different skill sets and feel comfortable with that. I think Russ did a good job. You know, I really do. I think, you know, f you know, battling through injury early in the year kind of takes a little bit of time to get your legs back underneath you. But, Second half of the season or the last six weeks, whatever, uh, I think he's played well for us, made a lot of plays, you know, has done a nice job, had a bigger role, um, you know, for us. And, and uh, I think he stepped up and made a, a bunch of really good plays for us. Anything else? You want to see him back? I mean, I'd love to. I love, you know, Russ as, as a teammate. You know, I, lo I love what he's, you know, how much he's grown as a player, you know, during his time here. Um, I also understand, you know, it's the, the nature of this league is hard to predict how things are going to go. But, you know, as far as my opinion of Russ, I love him. I think he's a great teammate and a very good player. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.